very very happy with this delivery from micro v technology today i've been uh, waiting a while but finally got a whole batch of um, keyboard replacement kits so um because the problem that you and at micro b technology had is that um the the key switch manufacturer required a minimum order of 10,000 key switches or something like that. So um, obviously that's uh, quite an outlay to make. So um, did a pre-order and we finally got some. So we've got some um, premium series and the standard non-premium. So I'm just getting some of these out. So here's an example of a, uh, of a micro B beautiful Aussie machine. Uh, the way they've got they've done the keyboard is that the key switches are soldered on to the main board. Well actually the um, the metal frame goes on first then the key switches are soldered in um, and then, then the keycaps go on top. So um, can't get these key switches anymore. Hence the, hence the need for um, one of Ewan's uh, replacement kits. So this one's okay, I think. Um, I think all of the key switches work. It is, it is possible to, to fix them. Um, you can actually open them up and uh, try and restore them. But uh, sometimes, let me just... So that one's okay. I think that one's okay. But then sometimes it's like there's just too many key switches that aren't working. So in this case, I've gone through and I've um, desoldered all of the key switches. So I've got all the key switches, which you know gives me spares. Um, take, take the uh, I think that's the core board. Take that off. Um, so I just need to desolder properly. Desolder all the you know, get all the hold um, solder out. And then what uh, Ewan provides are some instructions. Because uh, the other thing is the regulators. The regulators... Let me pull that down. I'm not doing this now because <laughs> I've got other stuff to work on. Let me get this. Here we go. So this is the, this is the metal frame. So you put the metal frame on. The regulators, two 7805 regulators are attached to the frame, obviously as heat sinks. Um, and then you would put your key switches in. So what Ewan provides instead, I believe, let's have a look. So we do have here is new key switches, which are actually, I think, better than the ones that came on the um, on the Premium Plus. The Premium Plus, you had to solder them onto a little uh, mini circuit board that would then fit in there. So we've got some switching regulators. We provide some switching regulators. Um, and let me just, this might take a little while, let me just open up the, um, the frame. Okay, so. All right, I understand how he's done it now. So, like I said, with the I could get the Premium Plus down. Um, well, with the Premium Plus, you had to solder a little mini uh, circuit board onto each key switch, which then would fit into here. But uh, the way Ewan's done it this time is we solder the switch into this board here, and then we've got a couple of... Um, I could probably go zoom in. We've got a couple of uh, sockets there which we then uh, connect up like so. So it looks pretty good. So nice little key switch. Because the other important thing, obviously, is that it um, fits the existing one. So let me grab our key switch. Okay, okay, so this is an original key switch. And this is one of the 
ones that Ewan supplies as a replacement. So it goes in like that, and I guess it goes like that. There we go. Then you stick it on the daughter board, and I guess it goes on like that. So it's an exact match. Ba, ba, ba. Right next to uh, an align of mechanical support pins underneath. So there are some mechanical support pins, I, I assume. Probably those there. Yep. So uh, a bit of soldering. But hopefully I'll be able to get this, this particular machine back into life, which will be good. Um, haven't, haven't, so I've been basically waiting. So you can see I've put a, um, put a switching regulator under there. So there was one on here as well, 7805. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since I've fiddled with my micro bees. I've basically been waiting for, for these to come in. So I'm, I'm quite happy. So there we go. Um, I'm not sure. I assume he's still got stock on his website. If so, I'll, I'll add a link. Um, but yeah, so once once I get finished with the oral and with oh, with my 15 other projects that I've uh, in the middle of, then I will. Um, I might do one maybe maybe this weekend because it's Tuesday. No, Tuesday today. Tuesday today. Yeah. So maybe on the weekend I'll get started on on trying to get one of these working again. All right. That was it. Bye for now.